Hello and welcome to this video on adding tiles and links to a panel. Tiles and links allow us to customise our own role centre or the role centre of our users. Tiles, which are the squares, can be used to open a panel like the sales panel or a list with just a press of a button. To add a tile, just right click inside a panel and press New Tile. Give the tile a description that will be displayed on it. Next, we have to define an info property. This is where we define what we want the tile to do, for example, count customers. In the calculation, we can retrieve the first or last value, the sum of some values, or commonly count some values. Select count and then select the table that you want to count the number of records for. Now press OK twice to see the progress that you've made so far. The tiles really are that easy to create. Clicking it will open the customer list. To change a tile, right click it and press edit tile. Here we can select a different colour and add an image. If you right click in the image section, you can import your own image or otherwise click load image from library to select one from a pre-populated library. Now we've made it a little prettier, we can make it a bit smarter. Again, right click and press edit. Press the info property and drill down into the table filter. We can use a table filter to return a count of records based on something. In this case, customers where the salesperson code is myself. Next, select the field to filter and then the value that you want to filter the records on. Now, if we go back, notice that it has automatically refreshed. Pressing the tile now will open the customers filtered by a salesperson and you can see the filters applied. Again, we'll make this a bit smarter, so let's right click and edit the tile. At the moment, the tile is set to filter on one salesperson, Beth. So if we wanted this tile to be used for everyone, we can add a smart filter. Let's edit our table filter in our info property, remove the value we put in earlier and press add smart filter. Smart filters let you do lots with tiles. You can calculate records based on this month, this year, based on contact number and so on. In this case, we'll select my salesperson code. This value will change for each user, meaning that this tile can now be used by the entire sales team. Going back, we shouldn't notice any difference. Next, we'll add a link. A link can be used like a tile to open a panel or object, but they tend to be used when you don't need to know any other information. To add a link, right click or go to more items and press new link. Give it a name and then click on click. The on click here is exactly the same as on a tile. We can run an object like a page or open the parts of our enablement suite, for example, a planning board, checklist, questionnaire or panel. In our case, we want to open an item list, so specify run object. We can run pages, code units, XML ports and reports. Select page and then select the page that you want to run. The reason we haven't defined an on click for our other tile is that it was defaulted based on that table. Then we can just go back and test the fruits of our not so hard work. We could right click a tile and press more items and copy a tile if we wanted to copy it to another panel. Select the panel to copy it to and press yes. If we then open the panel, there it is. So we could drag it to rearrange the tiles in the panel.